Right, uh, this question is coming from November 2016, question number 12. Apparently, that was the last question in that paper one for that particular year. Right, um, it's saying the digits 1 to 7 are to be created, uh, are to create a four digit code to enter a locked room. How many different codes are possible if the digits may not be repeated and the code? must be an even number between uh, so sorry um, must be an even number bigger than five thousand so let's uh, what a question what a question what a question let's have our digits first it's one two three four five six seven different digits right so one thing that we need to know about this particular question is that it must be an even number it must also be four digits so which means uh, for it to be a four digit we can even create the four digits one two three four remember for it to be an even number it means it can end with a two with a four with a six any any number that end with those digits will be even number then the other thing that we also need to bear in mind is that it must be bigger than 5000 for it to be bigger than 5000 it means it can end with a 5 it can end with a 6 or it can end with a 7 so those are the options and repetition in this case is not allowed so for us to be able to do this, we are going to do it using two cases. We can now call this case number one. Look here. For why are we saying case number one? Case number one is when this digit, sorry, when this code starts with a six. So if it starts with a six, it means surely on first position we have one option then which means on the last position we only are left with two options either it will either end with a two or it will end with a four here so which means on the last position we have two options so all in all it means we have used only two digits and repetition is not allowed which means here we can now put uh, five then here we can now have five repetition is not allowed then this can be four so which means it will be one times five times four times two so with the case one we have uh five times four that's 20 times two we have 40 possibilities then on the other now which i'll call to as case two one two three four for case two which means now for case two case one it started with a six case two it will start with a six with a five or it will start with a seven which gives us two options here and now in case number two it, it we remember we need we need it to be even which means it can end with any of those even digits two four and six so which means actually we have three options and we have only used two therefore which means here i can have five possibilities then here it's four after which i can now multiply them therefore it will be two times two times five which is ten times times four times three which in this case give me 120 then for us now to get the total number of digits which means here the total is going to be equals to 40 plus 120 which is equals to 160 
that becomes our final answer thank you so much may god bless you